Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, my name's Steven from Chanticleer Acres. Today we're gonna be starting seeds, going through all the steps of what it takes to get your plants healthy, happy, and successful right from the very start. So your seeds have arrived, you're ready to get going. The first thing you're gonna do is pull out your seed packet, look at the back, see all of this tiny little writing, but you wanna look at your frost dates and count backwards for how long that plant actually needs to be in the cell tray before it gets transplanted outside. And if you keep your plants in a cell tray too long before it gets transplanted, that plant is gonna get root bound, it's gonna get stressed, uh, and it's gonna essentially stunt it for the rest of its life. So patience here is a virtue. So the other crucial information that's gonna be on the back of your seed packet is the soil temperature that you need to germinate that seed, the germination rate, and also where that seed needs to be sown in the soil strata. So how deep does it get planted? We grow a number of crops here at Chanticleer Acres, and we prefer to use these never sink wind strip 128 cell trays. They're super durable, they last forever, uh, and we don't end up with a lot of plastic waste. That doesn't mean they're the only option. Uh, there are plenty of different options out there, and certainly these things aren't cheap, uh, but they do last. A couple other great options for seed starting are these soil blockers. Uh, they make a really nice soil block, which creates good airflow around your root zone. Uh, they are a little tricky to use, and you have to have the right blend of soil in order for those blocks to stay together. Uh, we also have a plug tray from Johnny's. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive, they work well, they're just not gonna last forever. Finally, if you're looking for something that is really inexpensive slash free, uh, you can use takeout containers, anything that's plastic, somewhat durable, uh, that's gonna work well for starting to seeds. The advantage of these, they have a built-in little dome you can put over to keep moisture inside. So today we are using these never sink wind strip trays to plant out our lettuce, which allows our, our roots to get to the right size, the plant to get to the right size before we transplant it into our high tunnel. We're using a McEnroe light potting mix, which allows for good water holding and also air penetration. Simply scoop it into our wind strip tray. Now notice that this soil mix is moistened. It really helps to moisten your soil before filling up your trays. We don't want to fill every single cell right to the top. We want a little bit of room, maybe a quarter inch, so that we can cover the seed up with soil as opposed to having to poke a hole in these cells. Most of the seed that we start here at Chanticleer Acres is inoculated with a mycological seed coat. This sort of product is available through most seed catalogs. And what that does is it helps that baby seed get off to a great start and helps it partner with the mycelium in the soil so it can get extra nutrients with that symbiotic relationship. Now that our seed is coated, we're gonna start planting it. And it's got a really high germination rate, almost 100%. So we don't need to put many seeds in each cell. One to maybe two should be great. This seed only has to be an eighth of an inch deep. So really almost right on the surface. All right, so we've gotten our seeds surface planted onto the top of these cells. We're gonna just take a light dusting of potting soil. Now that our seeds are planted, we're gonna take our wind strip tray, we're gonna put it into a flat, and we're gonna water the seeds in. Now the time to germination from when you plant that seeds, really important. And you're gonna want something to mark not only the variety of what you planted, but also the date that you planted that seed. So you can come back and if it hasn't germinated in that allotted time, it's probably not gonna germinate. Now that this is planted, labeled, and we have our moisture dome put on top, I'm gonna to put this aside and come back in three to five days to check on it, which is about how long it'll take for it to germinate. So we're gonna come back in a couple weeks. It's gonna have grown into a, a small, healthy plant, 
But one of the crucial things at that stage is not waiting too long. We want to get it into the high tunnel, into the ground, so that plant has room to grow, expand, and take up the nutrients that it needs. So a seed like a lettuce seed is not necessarily going to require uh, any extra temperature to germinate. But certainly a lot of things like peppers, tomatoes, and actually artichokes do. And that's where we use a heat mat. I started these artichokes right here. And I'm going to place them on top of this heat mat. And that's going to help maintain our rooting zone at about 75 degrees, which is essential for the germination of these artichokes. So next time we tune in, we're going to have us transplanting the lettuce into our high tunnel. And you can see the spacing that that lettuce is going to require. Uh, and some of the conditions that that lettuce is going to need. Our goal here is to provide really high quality information to you. We're a small, diverse, regenerative farm in Litchfield, Connecticut, and we want to keep on providing high quality content, so we welcome your feedback and any questions that you have.